Now, every single one of us here have gone through a battle. Yeah, you know, we go through a battle every day, but what we have to realize is the battles is the Lord's. It's not ours. The victory is ours. We can walk in the victory. Yes. Because it's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Amen. Yeah, you know, we, we've got the resurrected Christ living on the inside of us. You know, the greatest mystery, what people don't know, is the hope of glory. You can't live on the inside of us. Paul revealed that. And, I'm, and it's just amazing. I, just, I just can't understand and fathom the love of God at times. You know, he actually laid down his life to set us free from sin and death. Sin and death. You know, we come up to Resurrection Sunday next week. You know, and a lot of people do not know the gospel. That, that God came down as a man. He came down as Jesus Christ to be the atonement sacrifice for our sins. Yeah. And once we actually realise that, it's like, oh, thank you, Jesus. You actually took what I deserved upon yourself. This man didn't deserve what we what we done and what he done. You know, he just loved us. That's all he done. He loved us. But you know, like the goodness of God endures forever. Yeah. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. And yeah. I just I need to speak of that grace and mercy and that compassion. And that's shown with my testimony, with where I came from, with who I used to be, to who I am now. I was a drug addict by the age of five years old. Smoking pot. By the age of seven, I'm there drinking alcohol. By the age of 10, having lines of angel dust. By the age of 13, sticking needles in my arm. Hide myself, hide the world. I believed I was racist. There's only one race, a human race. We all bleed red. Yeah, and we're all, we're all Christ's children. We just need to have a relationship. Form that relationship with him. That's all he want, wants with you. Relationships, it's not about religion. It's not about religion at all. It's about who he is and what he's done for us already. Yes. Yeah, and I thank him every day that he laid down his life for me. When I was unworthy, unworthy without any hope, he came and gave me hope. You know, with what I do out of the streets, going out preaching the gospel, going out evangelizing, going out leading people to Christ. You know, I don't lead them to me because I, I can't do nothing. I can't, you know, give people salvation. You know, but we have to know that salvation comes with no other name but the name of Jesus. You know, when we look to him, all our life just starts becoming more pure and more clean because he refines us and cleans us. You know, and I just thank the Lord every day for everyone here who comes here week after week to get fed, not by the spiritual, you know, natural food, it's by the spiritual food. Yeah, you know, the spiritual food endures forever. It gives you eternal life. And, you know, that's all he wants. He wants eternal life. And that's coming into the knowledge of God and the one he sent, Christ Jesus. That is eternal life. The greatest mystery, you know, when people just do not realise because they get taught dead religion. Dead religion is going to lead you nowhere. You know, just know that we, we can be good with Christ, not by our works, but by his finished work on that cross. You know, don't listen to people that you have to do this and do that because it's not by the works that you're saved, it's through grace alone, Amen. faith alone, and Christ alone. Once we start leaning on his goodness and his mercy and his compassion, we start to get cleaned on the inside. Our hearts become right. He shifts our heart.